All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a knife that I think is a dream blade or a grail knife for many people. Now, I say many people because of this knife, uh, what you're looking at here is the McNeese Mac 2, and this one was made in 2021, so it's a little bit of an older version, but uh, this is the 3-inch Mac 2, and I'd say that a lot of people in the knife community see at least the three and a half inch but i think even the three inch version of this blade as one of their dream dream knives that is like a grail collector and i have to say i can see why in some ways though i will say to my personal like opinion i do not necessarily think that this would be a dream knife of mine now i do i did add a mac a McNeese Mac 2 to the collection because I really did want a Mac 2 in the collection because I think it's a knife that I get a lot of comments about similar to Tor, similar to the Spartan Harzy folder. I get tons of questions being a knife tuber uh, of asking like, what do I think of these knives? What is my opinion? Would I buy one? Should I buy one? And so as a knife tuber, I try to take it upon myself to track down some of the blades that I get the most requests of seeing on the channel and ones that I think I would like in my collection and try to add them. So that's kind of how the Mac 2 came into my collection. Obviously, I also found a good deal on this guy. And overall, I think that uh, these are really solid blades. Now, I think it's important and worth noting that these knives are definitely not cheap. Uh, that's for sure. Especially this one. This one came with, um, I got it on the secondary and it came with the machined backspacer and also a aftermarket clip that was also a McNeese um, clip it's just a custom version and so it came with a few options that made it a little bit more expensive than retail but overall I will say that uh, when it comes down to this guy but overall when it comes down to this guy I will say that I think for me I feel a little bit mixed because these are and they make no mistake McNeese makes no mistake that these are largely CNC machined knives now I will say they are CNC machined but they are incredibly well executed and there's a lot of quality everywhere in them if you guys can see here you can see that the um inner side of the titanium frame lock and the handle side have been extensively Swiss cheese, so to speak, to help eliminate weight. And that is just one uh, piece of quality. This guy is incredibly smooth um, and it is like drop shut buttery. So I'll try to show this off. Um, that this guy is absolutely smooth and of course it has a beautiful deployment very hard very fast and a great lockup obviously no blade play at all it is rock solid it is rock solid. So I will say those things are definitely big pros. I believe also, I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like the um, thumb studs are titanium. I'm not 100 on that, but it definitely looks like it. So overall, this knife has a ton of quality. Obviously the centering is perfect and these blades are pretty darn well made. However, um, for me, I guess like what are the big things that I dislike about this knife? Well, honestly, there's really not a whole lot to it. I will say, and I did know going into this that I got the three inch version. So it is a little bit small for my preferences. Um, I'll show it against a TRM at, or sorry, TRM Neutron, not an Atom. As you guys can see there, it's not too much smaller, but a little bit smaller than something like the Neutron. Um, and so it definitely runs on the smaller end of the spectrum. However, uh, I will say when it comes to smaller knives, I do almost tend to lean towards them just because I'm more likely to pick them up and carry them. Um, but yeah, so there is that. For me, I will say too, and I don't think that there's any technical like spec sheet wise, I don't think that this blade is particularly thick, but to me in hand, it feels a little bit on the thicker side. It kind of feels like a chunky knife, um, but it also doesn't feel heavy because they've milled out the inside of the handles. So I don't know, it's a little bit weird to me in that regard. It's a very well-made knife and I do really like it and it's definitely staying in my collection, but it is one of those blades that uh, I think maybe is a little overhyped, but it definitely is pretty cool. Um, it is like, it's a nice, it's a knife that I like and I want to like, but there are just things that for me and my personal preferences, like well-made, but it's just an interesting blade. So that's kind of how I feel about the Mac 2. Um, if anyone's wondering, like, is this a knife that 
uh, I would buy again, probably in all honesty. I will say I would probably lean towards the three and a half inch model, but this three inch is very carryable. So I guess like if you're looking for a knife that is max carryable, um, this definitely is that. But uh, like I said, it is very well made. It's not necessarily my exact preferences or tastes. I feel like for me, when it comes to a knife um, that's like titanium, like a titanium frame lock that's machined, like it's very similar to something along the lines or the premise is similar to a Chris Reeve Knives Sabenza. Obviously the execution is different and I like that, you know, it's nice to take the ideas of a titanium frame lock and make it your own. So I think that's what McNeese has done here. And once again, uh, the biggest things I do give them props for is the fact that um, <clears throat> it is very well executed. Like it is a pleasure to use, handle, play with, cut things with because it is very well executed and it feels overall fairly comfortable. I am not the largest fan of the ergonomics. As I said, like I said, like to me, it feels personally a little bit chunky in hand, but it is um, comfortable. Like there's no hot spots to it. It is well made overall. In addition to, I will say I'm not the largest fan of the blade shape. And I think that this is something that like, if you like it, you like it but for me it kind of gives me these weird buoy knife vibes and it obviously is not a clip point proper this is a drop point but it does it kind of looks like a buoy and i'm just not the hugest fan of buoy shaped blades so overall um what i have to say is that the mcneese mac 2 is a really nice knife it's well made like i said i can't like harp on any of the manufacturing side of things this is a you know, precision machined blade and they don't make any lies about that. It's not hand fit, um, but everything is very well executed on the knife. Even one thing that I love when higher end knives do is just this fitment towards the end of the blade. So you can see that that tip just barely nests under the back of the handle. And so you can almost, if you try, you could get your finger in there and touch that tip, but it's just so well engineered that if you just run your finger across it, you're not gonna feel anything. And what I mean by this is this is usually something that higher end knives do, like my custom uh, Gavco here. You can see the end fitment, hopefully if this will focus, is very similar. Like you can just barely feel that tip right there if you stick your finger in, but if you're running your fingers across, you will not feel anything. So, you know, it's right there. The fitment just, it just means that ultimately, um, like what that means, at least for me, in my opinion, um, is that like the fitment and the execution of the blade is very well done. And so it, it takes skill to be able to know, you know, just how close you can get to that end and still have the blade concealed. So anyways, those things, once again, they're not necessarily indicative of quality, but they kind of lead or trend that way so the McNeese Mac 2 is really cool I do like it, having one in the collection this one alongside the Spartan Harzi folder are knives that I'm trying to add to the collection so that once again you know when people ask me you know what do I think of this blade is it a good blade should I buy it like I can give them an informed and like truthful opinion of what I actually think of the knife so that's why I added the Mac 2 um, for me this isn't necessarily a grail because like I said it's not the most attractive knife to me but I got a really good deal on it and I was certainly not going to say no so that is how I ended up with the McNeese Mac 2 and that's overall what I think of it so far now obviously I'm going to use it carry it around and get a little bit more use with it but as far as it goes through my initial use and testing and evaluation it is a fantastic blade and I really like it from a design and or I really like it from an execution standpoint. Once again, not personally my favorite design and not something that like, it's probably not going to make it into my top or like most favorite knives in the collection, but, but at the same time too, like when it comes to making 
it into the top of my knife collection. Like you have to compete with stuff like this beautiful Heretic Manticore X Bounty Hunter. Like, you know, to make it into the top five knives in my collection, like it has to be really good. Like it's competing with full, you know, like one of one custom, you know, knives, right? So obviously it doesn't necessarily stand a chance against some of the best blades, in my opinion, that are out there in the world. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.